Jungkook and Yin are currently seen having dinner together like any other night. But there's something different tonight. Yin, who usually appears cheerful and eager to engage her husband in conversation, now looks silent with a slightly sour expression. Jungkook, who is naturally cold, becomes even colder due to the lack of initiative from Yin to engage him in conversation. But what Yin doesn't know is that Jungkook is starting to feel curious as to why his wife suddenly seems gloomy tonight. As far as I know, you're not on your period right now. Yin, who has been focused on eating, suddenly becomes confused by what her husband said. Who said I'm on my period? I'm not on my period at all. Because I've seen you frowning the whole time. Of course I'm frowning. I'm annoyed right now. You're completely insensitive. What's wrong with you? Yes, obviously you don't know what's wrong with me. You never care about me. What's wrong with you, hum? Why do you say I don't care? Yes, you don't care about me. We got married because our parents arranged it. So you don't love me and you don't care about me. Do you remember what day tomorrow is? Tomorrow is Saturday, why? You don't know. Tomorrow is an important day. I know. Tomorrow is your birthday. You remember? Yes, I remember. So, you don't have any plans for me tomorrow? Hum, what do you want? Yin can no longer answer her husband's question. She feels like she wants to touch her chest and sigh softly. It seems her husband is completely anti-romantic and cold. All right then, forget it. Don't bother planning anything for me. You didn't even think about doing anything, did you? Do you want to dine out? Do you want to? What did you usually do before we got married? Are you really not thinking at all? Do you have no ideas? Yin, we haven't been married for a year yet. And this is the first time I've faced your birthday. I truly don't know how you usually celebrate it. In the past, on my birthday, we always had dinner outside with my parents. Her voice now begins to sound weak. Jungkook knows, this time Yin must be missing her parents. Slowly, Jungkook's hand reaches out to hold her hand, which is on the dining table. Are you missing your parents? If you miss them, you can video call them. If I video call them, I'll miss them even more. Then what do you want? Yin simply shakes her head weakly, while his hand begins to stroke her hand with his thumb. Well then, it's better if you continue your meal until you finish. Yin just nods weakly, and Jungkook now begins to release his hand so Yin can continue eating. A quiet atmosphere settles in as they both continue their dinner in silence. Now Jungkook and Yin have finished their dinner and are in their bedroom. Yin sits leaning against the headboard, still with a frowning face. Meanwhile, Jungkook, who briefly glanced at his wife, smiled faintly. He takes something from the wardrobe and then approaches his wife, sitting on the edge of the bed. I've prepared a gift for you. Jungkook hands Yin a box. It's a jewelry box. Yin, whose face was initially very sour, suddenly changes to cheerful and smiles happily. You've prepared a gift for me? Yes, I prepared it a week ago. I should have given it to you tomorrow since it's your birthday. But seeing you frowning all the time, I decided to give it to you now. You're really straightforward. Shouldn't you give it to me during our dinner tomorrow? Why do you give it to me now when we're about to sleep? Because I can't stand seeing that frowning face of yours. So I'm giving it to you now. And now you can smile, right? For some reason, Yin feels like Jungkook is teasing her, so she finally playfully hits Jungkook. You're really not romantic. I don't understand what kind of romance you mean. Yin doesn't answer, but now she leans closer to him, finally hugging her husband. Thank you, hubby. You're more than I expected. I thought you really didn't prepare anything, maybe even forgot my birthday. And if that happens, you'll be bringing it up for the next year. Do I seem that cruel? Or maybe even for a lifetime, until we become grandparents. This time, Yin is truly annoyed. She finally pinches his waist quite hard. I'm not like that. Jungkook winces in pain spontaneously. He immediately holds her hand to stop her from pinching him. But Yin insists on continuing to pinch Jungkook until eventually, with a little effort, Jungkook manages to restrain her hand. Now Yin can't move. Both of her hands are held by him. For a few seconds, they stare at each other. Their faces are quite close. Let go of my hand. No. Jungkook. Let go of my hand. Not a chance. Jungkook now stares at her intensely, while Yin appears to be getting nervous. With their position still unchanged, he finally leans forward, tilts his head, and moves closer to her until their lips touch. Gently, Jungkook starts to kiss her lips, his wife seems to enjoy it. They both close their eyes and get lost in the moment. Jungkook's hand starts to release Yin's hand, and now her hand is free. Slowly she starts to hang her hand around his neck. Meanwhile, one of his hands begins to rise to hold her neck to deepen their kiss. His other hand is on her back to press their bodies closer together. They truly enjoy their kiss, his head moves from side to side to deepen it. The cool temperature in the bedroom now begins to feel hot. Their breaths are becoming heavy. 
Due to a lack of oxygen, reluctantly they are forced to release their lip lock, but Jungkook continues his action by attacking her neck and ears. After a few moments, their gazes meet again. Jungkook gently strokes her head, then kisses her forehead for a long time. Happy birthday. I hope you always stay healthy and happy living with me. You're saying it too soon. My birthday is tomorrow. So you can be happy sooner rather than delaying it until tomorrow. Yin. Hearing that starts to chuckle softly. She really doesn't understand her husband's thought process. She thought all this time that her husband was very cold, uncaring, and anti-romantic. And while it's true in some ways, on the other hand, Jungkook can think one step ahead to please her. Jungkook now leans in again and kisses her once more, but this time, with a hotter and more aggressive kiss. I want you tonight. Hearing what her husband whispers, she blushes and shyly nods her head. Finally, that night becomes a long one for the two of them. Yin is seen preparing breakfast for them. Today is truly a delightful day for her, even though there's no grand birthday party for her. Somehow her husband's behavior last night made her really happy today. While still focused on preparing breakfast, she suddenly feels someone hugging her from behind. Yin doesn't need to look back. She smiles knowing who it is, none other than her husband. A moment later, she feels a kiss on the side of her neck. His breath is truly audible in her ear. Now, his hand on her belly slowly moves upwards, gently squeezing those to soft something from the outside. Yin is gasped. This time, this touch is not ordinary. Slowly, she turns her head to look at her husband. But as her head turns to the side, without warning, Jungkook kisses her lips, and his hand that was squeezing that too soft something now swiftly slips in and directly touches her to cherries. Spontaneously, Yin can't hold back the moan that escapes her mouth. Accepting all of her husband's actions, her legs feel truly weak. Honestly, she's starting to get caught up in the atmosphere created by him. But still, Yin is curious. What's up with her husband this morning? Hubby, what's going on? Didn't we already? Shh, I still want it again. Can I? Yin nods. She's already caught up in the moment. If they stop now in this state, it wouldn't feel pleasant. So it's better to just finish it all at once. At that moment, Jungkook lifts her body and carries her back to their bedroom. Finally, they did it again this morning, with an atmosphere no less heated than last night. One hour later, now they're both lying side by side, both looking tired, with breath still racing and panting. Both of their foreheads are sweaty. Jungkook turns his gaze to the side to see his wife, who now looks disheveled. But somehow, she looks even more enticing in his eyes. Somehow today, he feels like it's an emergency to keep wanting his wife's body. What's up with you? You're not usually like this. I don't know either. What if I'm actually like this all the time? Would you mind? If it's my husband, of course. I don't mind. Besides, it's your full right to do it to me. Actually, I feel like my feelings for you are growing and becoming bigger in my heart. But at the same time, I just want to keep touching you. Are you starting to love me? It seems so. What about your feelings? You didn't even realize that I've loved you from the beginning. Is that so? We've been married for six months now. It means I've been harboring my love for you for six months. You've loved me from the start? Yes. That's right. That's why I agreed to our arranged marriage. I didn't know, but since the first time I saw you, I was attracted to you. I thought maybe my love would be unrequited forever, but it turns out it's not. Jungkook hugs his wife's plain body again, then his hands gently stroke her cheek, their lips kiss again, but this time for quite a long time and very softly. I'm sorry if you ever felt that way. Today is your birthday, I can assure you, from today onwards, you'll be happier living with me. In that case, your love is the best gift I've received from you. Alright, let's have breakfast then. Currently, Jungkook and Yin are at a restaurant, they have already ordered their menu and are waiting for the food to be served. Their hands have not parted since earlier, they keep holding each other's hands. At their six-month marriage, only tonight they seem to be falling in love with each other, tonight they truly look like a couple in love. Hubby, what made you start to love me? I don't know. There's no specific criteria. All I know is that I like you. I love you just the way you are. Is that so? I think you're beautiful. Your attitude is fine. That's all. But, don't I often behave annoyingly? Yes. Sometimes you're a bit weird. But that doesn't mean I'm annoyed by your personality. In my opinion, you're a good wife. Someone who can still be controlled, who can still compromise. Not someone who always wants to win alone. And in my opinion, you're an understanding wife. For example, that night, you reminded me that today is your birthday, even though I actually remembered. But I like a wife who is honest like that, rather than being silent but suddenly sulking and not wanting to talk. 
Because honestly, maybe I'm not the most sensitive man, but sometimes understanding you is difficult for me. But it turns out you're willing to tell me what you want. You want to express what you desire, what you hope for, that's what I like about you. I didn't expect that you actually like that side of me, whereas I thought maybe my behavior like that might make you sick. But it turns out that's what makes you fall in love with me. Yes, rather than you silently sulking and then there's a war. I prefer you like this, being honest with me so I know what you want. Hum, it turns out men's minds are unique too, huh? I often hear my friends complain about their husbands being insensitive and not understanding. They expect too much from their husbands, but they stay silent. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm also like that. But if you're willing to express what you want, it really helps me to fulfill what you want. All right hubby. Let's understand each other from now on. I will express anything I want you. Also, please express what you expect from me. Jungkook smiles. He's falling more in love with his wife. His wife who he thinks is quite understanding. His hand tighter, holding her hand. In their hearts right now, there are so many hopes they want to fulfill. But it seems from now on they can imagine a harmonious marriage ahead of them. Because they are starting to understand each other.